Welcome winners to the Motive Manifestations channel. It's me, the Writing Dean. Today we're going to delve into the topic of hoovering, but before we do, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel and thank you in advance for your support. Let's begin. Hoovering is a sick, twisted tactic utilized by narcissists in order to regain control by re-entering the life of their victim. There is no specific time frame in which it could happen. It could be a month or five years later. Remember, the way narcissists process information is not the same as you and I. Okay, so common sense will tell you. If you ghosted someone or just up and disappeared on them, and I'll do a separate video regarding that topic, but if you ghosted them, you would rationalize within yourself. You'd say, I left this person without an explanation. And the way I did it was just, it was trash. I treated them as trash. There's no way I'll be re-entering their life or even try based on my actions. That doesn't apply to narcissists. They make up their own rules and they don't respect boundaries. As a result of that, it doesn't matter if they dropped you, they still will make that attempt or can, I should say, it's not a guarantee, but they can make the attempt to re-enter your life. You are the one that holds the power or the keys to allow them to do that. Remember, the way narcissists function within relationships, it's like a cat and mouse game. They go through these cycles over and over again, and they never get tired. As a result of that, it's normal to come back into a person's life seeking supply. Now, what is supply? It's negative or positive attention. It doesn't matter that the narcissist needs to maintain some sort of stability. They can't generate intentional or genuine self-worth. So they need the attention. It doesn't matter what form it's in, in order to get supply. People ask, based on experiences and research, why it is they haven't been Hoover yet? Well, they could be busy with the new person that they're love bombing, because remember I said everything goes in cycles, or they just deem it as a write-off, like how a car can be a write-off after an accident and just move on. But remember, their cognition is very, very different. And the reasoning skills are childish. So it's not a guarantee that you get Hoovered. And also I want you to understand if a narcissist tries to Hoover you or does, it's not flattering. Don't take it as a compliment because that's still including your emotions into a situation where you've already been hurt numerous times. And I really don't want you to experience that. Please listen to me carefully. This is one of the hardest temptations that you will ever have to overcome. If you are seeking therapy, which I highly recommend if you've been in a relationship with narcissists or you currently are in one, do your best to get help that you need, the professional help. But if they gave you strategies to implement in order to make your life better and to actually move on after you have wasted years with this person that you thought it, you thought you invested it, right? Please don't let your attempts be in vain. Okay, it's the same thing as you just starting over with them again and again because it is that same cycle. Remember. There is no going back to the idealization phase. It was all a facade and it was never genuine. In your mind, it was genuine. In their mind, it was just a game. Don't be a pawn in their game. God loves you too much for that and you are wonderfully and beautifully made in his image. So here's some tactics utilized by the narcissist in order to re-enter your life, okay? Let's say there was an issue of infidelity within the relationship or marriage. They will come back with all of these false promises. That's all they are. Nothing is genuine. So it'll be, oh, I'll never cheat again. I'll never look at another person again. I was going through a really hard time. All these long lists of excuses, right? And how they will never do it again. If you have been involved with a narcissist and this was an issue in your relationship, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
And it doesn't have to just be infidelity. It can be where they weren't helping out with the kids or they lie compulsively. It doesn't matter what the issue was. It, it doesn't matter. They will come back wearing whichever mask that they think will get them back in your life. So you have to exhibit strength by not allowing that to happen. You hold the power in the situation. Don't let them have any leverage in your life at all. They seek autonomy on a whole nother level. It is sick and it's disgusting. Please, you're worth more than that. Another tactic of the, of the narcissist could be to purchase items they know you like. You know your weakness is chocolate or shoes. It doesn't matter. Materialism does not make up for the fact that this will compromise your mental health. That's all it's going to do. Cause another setback. And then if you decide to give the narcissist another chance, they're just going to come back to continue with the same foolishness. It's not worth it. Thanks for watching, winners. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Also, share the information if you found it to be beneficial. Please follow me on Instagram at The Writing Dame. Don't forget, God loves you. So do I. Thanks for your support. Sincerely, The Writing Dame.